There is a city, where drone deliveries is reality. In Logan, Australia, Wing, a company in the Alphabet Galaxy, has completed 100,000 deliveries in two years. Others companies try, but without equally encouraging results. Over 10,000 cups of coffee, 2,700 sushi rolls, 1,700 snack packs and 1,200 roast chickens, these are just a few numbers that tell what the residents of Logan, Australia, have ordered through a drone home delivery service that has been active for a couple of years in their small town of 300,000 inhabitants near Brisbane, on the east coast of the country. With 1 meter wingspan, 1.3 meters long, carrying capacity of 1.2 kilograms at a speed of 104.4 kilometers per hour, 29 meters per second, and a walkable distance of 20 kilometers, Wings drone flies at 45 meters high and promises to make quick deliveries avoiding traffic and reducing the use of personnel. The fleet of aircraft is in fact managed by software that programs the route to be followed and analyzes the flight conditions, including the weather and ground conditions, delivering the package to the location chosen by the recipient via an app, which makes it lower gently by means of a cable after having descended to a height of 7 meters. The drone delivery market was worth $528 million in 2020, but according to a projection by Markets and Markets, aggregate annual growth over the decade will be 53.8%, up to $39 billion in 2030. Wing was the first company to obtain the approval of the Federal Aviation Administration in the United States FAA, in April 2019, albeit for a single operator and not for the whole company, as UPS then managed to do in the following October. Just UPS announced the other day that it had started a refrigerated vaccine delivery service in North Carolina, using packages specially designed for drones. This required the first-of-its-kind FAA approval to charge alkaline and lithium batteries on aircraft in order to monitor the temperatures required by the particular type of transport, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Despite having shown an early interest in the matter by launching the Prime Air unit in 2016, Amazon later gained FAA approval to deliver packages beyond the line of sight of a drone operator in 2020. And in the UK, testing is underwent a slow and continuous decline, so much so that 100 people employed in the project were left out of work, as reported by the British edition of Wired. Apparently the local program never really took off, due to organizational and engineering difficulties. The drones used, for example, weighed up to 27 kilograms, and the mandate was to land them directly outside the client's homes, a rather complicated precision operation in the last two meters above the ground.
In the world of deliveries, Uber Eats tried to take off with the drone two years ago, announcing tests in San Francisco. Equipped with six rotors for vertical takeoffs, the design model could fly nearly 29 kilometers and stay in the air for 18 minutes, carrying enough food for two people. Let me know in the comment down below what you think about drone delivery and if you will be happy to use this service in the future. I hope you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like for the algorithm and I will see you in the next one.